Uh, she could have taken out Thanos on her own if he hadn't initiated a blitz. <laughs> Nobody else came close. Well, I'd argue that Captain Marvel came close. Is that like a personal attack or something? Episode 5 has finally seen some big improvement in this show. We're finally getting to some big surprises and the narrative, the story, everything is just working so much better. We have a lot of answers, but yet we still have so much mystery going on that it's just hooking. It's just grasping like our interest. And this episode, episode five, is bringing a lot more heart, a lot more emotion and productive narrative that it's really hooking us and overshadowing the mystery more so, but yet the mystery is still there. And so it's all working together to make sure that the audience just watches the next episode and the next. And I feel like the other episodes kind of did that. Episode 3 and Episode 4 definitely did that. But the first two episodes, while I personally think that before Episode 5, Episode 2 was the best, they didn't do as much to get you quite as hooked if you didn't really understand what was going on or why this show even existed but now at episode five anybody who wasn't quite sure about the show probably is taking back whatever they might have said about it because it's finally getting interesting to the point where it's not just a sitcom it's more crazy mcu different dimensional things with corrupt government and agencies there's just so much to love here, like, honestly, like, there's so much conflict going on now between Wanda and S.W.O.R.D., and now we see that the agents of S.W.O.R.D. don't see eye to eye on everything, and so you have some agents which are trying to threaten Wanda's life, while the others are kind of sympathetic, kind of understanding where Wanda's coming from, and know that she's not a terrorist, not a huge threat to the world but what she is doing isn't right and we even see vision starting to understand that and i still don't know if it's the actual vision or if it's just uh wanda's mind and her own emotions being projected through vision whether or not vision has his own consciousness we just don't know it's like crazy what's going on because we now see quarrels and arguments between Vision and Wanda and it's so good like I was not expecting to have such great tension between the two characters and it's such a strong tension that I'm having a hard time believing that Wanda is controlling Vision he seems to be well in control of everything he knows what he wants, what he thinks, and he knows that something's wrong. It's not Wanda controlling him. He is in control. He might not remember his past life, but he knows that there is something different going on. And it's just so good, so great. I am really... Every episode gets me more excited for what's going to come, and this episode is finally giving me what... I wanted out of this show it's just really good definitely episode 5 is a must watch I would recommend if you haven't seen any of the episodes so far watch them binge them from episode 1 to 5 I don't think you'll be disappointed at all and definitely be on the lookout for the next four episodes coming up I have a feeling that there's going to be a lot of great reveals it's going to set up the next phase of MCU very nicely. And honestly, this is a much better way to begin MCU Phase 1 rather than the Black Widow prequel. I'm not saying that that film's going to be bad or whether it's going to be worse than WandaVision. But I doubt that it's going to have as much of an impact. 
What I like best about episode 5 is that it balances the sitcom with reality in a way that the other episodes haven't done so far, and it's structuring a narrative that's actually going to impact the rest of the MCU going forward. It's not just telling the story of WandaVision's sitcom. We're now seeing the outside world interfere with what's going on in the sitcom. We're seeing Vision realize that something else is going on, and so that's interfering. And that's also going to lead into the finale of this show. And everything's leading up to this leading straight into the next Doctor Strange movie, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. And it's all working together so well. And I guess we've heard from cast members on the show that the ending is huge. And that it's something that you don't want spoiled. Like, it's... So good it's like you will be surprised and you don't want anybody to ruin that for you and as of this episode I can believe that because we finally are seeing the improvement that I wanted to see out of this show we're finally getting what I was expecting in this show I mean I was kind of hoping that it would happen before episode 5 but we've got four more episodes so half of this show is going to be great. I can just feel it. The next few episodes are going to be shockers. So I give WandaVision episode 5 an 88% for an overall season score of 84% total. I think that overall we're just finally getting a good... Thanks everyone for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification bell to help you be on the lookout for more videos from Luke Filmboss.